It's day two of the great bead extravaganza, and you know what that means. Welcome, everybody. I'm Alex. This is Abby. Hi. We are the bead place and beadplace.net. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> what does that mean? That means we're going to have a ton of fun today. Abby is going to show you the, a cool necklace, the catching Z's necklace. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> you won't fall asleep. No. Hopefully we'll keep your attention, but I just thought it was a cute name. Although Shout it out is... to my friend Donna, who uh, gave us the idea for the name. Absolutely. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Where's everybody watching from? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Also, what time is it? Where yeah. Because it's sleepy time. 10.30. I got my coffee. Ooh. And I got my cola. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> But thank you everybody for joining us. Make sure if you enjoy the video, wow, we like just started it, and we've got over a hundred people. Like it, heart it, and share it. Uh, share the the greatness that is the Great Beat Extravaganza. And shout out to the, all the other amazing presenters and folks that are here, including the special guest who is Jennifer Perkins. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super oh, okay. stoked to have her a part of this fabulous event. Oh my gosh, watching from France. From the Lou. And Sally's That's watching right. from the Lou. That's we're right. In, we're right outside the Lou. If you don't know, um, the Bead Place is a brick and mortar bead store uh, right outside of St. Louis. Uh, we're in a city called Fairview Heights, Illinois. You're like, St. Louis? That's Missouri. Well, it's right on the border yeah. of Missouri and Illinois. So we're, we're, we're Cardinals fans, Missouri. not Cubs fans. <laughs> you know, there's more. Don't to, say that on stream. <laughs> there's more to Illinois than just Chicago, believe it or not. Um, well, it looks like everybody's here. Let's get going. Do you want to switch to hand cam real quick and we can talk about the kit? And then while we're doing that, um, Alex is going to drop the link in chat to the Catching Z's necklace. So um, there are five different colorways for the project that we're doing today. It is a beaded link chain necklace. We have the turquoise how light colorway, which is this one here. We Real have fast. our carnelian colorway, which is this one here. We have the rose oh, wow. quartz colorway, which is this one here. We've got the jade adventuring, which is this one here. And then we have black labradorite over here, which is also sometimes called larvakite. So guess which one I like the most. Let us know in chat which color you would like us to see create today. What would you like to see? Let us know. Now, the other thing that I want to mention and that Alex is going to link in chat right now is that we are going to be using this cool tool right here. This cool tool is called a one step looper. This is in the standard size, which is 1.5 millimeter. And what this guy does is it creates your loop on the end of your head pin for you and it cuts the tail end off. So I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about how, you know, I generally have always preferred a wrapped loop because open loops for some reason are kind of tricky for me, but this takes all of the just difficulty out of it because it does it oh for God. you and it creates uniform loops each time. So I'm super excited to show you guys how this works. If this tool is not something that you have or not something that you're able to get at this point in time, no worries, because you can use a round nose pliers to create open loops to do this necklace. This is just going to save us a little bit of time and headache making all of those open loops exactly the same. So Alex, just link that in chat and Tur let's get going. Turquoise, turquoise. Terry said Alex likes Labradorite. I don't know which one that is. That's the dark one. You uh, like that one? That's I do the like one you that. Said. I do like that one, but I, I think I like the blue one more. Yeah. The howlite. Green one, dark blue, larvakite. Let's see. Turquoise. Carnelian. It's hard Carnelian. To tell. Turquoise. Carnelian. Which yeah, one? I agree. Jade. Carnelian would be easiest to see because it's the brightest colors. Which one's that? That's this one here. Yeah, I think I think you're right. That's a great idea. Um. Okay. Well, it looks like it's a pretty close tie between the turquoise, the labradorite, and the carnelian. So dealer's choice. I'm just gonna go with the carnelian because I like that that suggestion that it would be easiest to carnelian, see. Carnelian, carnelian. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, now all the carnelians are rolling. Yeah. In. All right. Well, let me move my tray out of the way, and we will get set up 
and I'll grab a carnelian kit. Tray out of the way. Oh, I have my table so just prepared for what did I put underneath here? Jeez Louise. It's another kit. It's another kit. <laughs> Surprise. I'm over prepared today, which means that I have stuff everywhere. And watch now that I say that I'm gonna like have forgotten something major. So we're gonna be using the carnelian color today. And your kit comes with a little QR code that if you scan it, it brings you directly to the group. So it's easy to find all of the replays. Um, and then we're gonna take all the contents out and we're gonna talk about what's inside. So inside this kit, Good morning, how's that Jay. look? Oh, that's bright. That's awesome. Yeah. You know what they say, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> that's true. So in your kit, we have two different styles of chain. How much does the tool cost that you showed? That's a good question. If you follow the link, uh, it should take you to the price. Um, but Alex is checking now. It's thirty-seven fifty. Um, okay. So, but remember, use coupon code TGBE twenty to save twenty percent uh, at bplace.net this weekend. So we've got this chain, and then we also have this chain. The first chain that I showed you, you'll have two pieces in the kit. And then this chain is going to be our extender chain. So we're going to set that off to the side for now. We're going to be working with our gemstones, our head pins, and our seed beads. So I'm going to dump out my little seed bead and spacer package here. Now in our little seed bead and spacer package, we've also included a couple extra goodies. One of them is a lobster clasp. We're going to set that aside. And then we also have four jump rings, which we're going to use later. So we're going to set those aside as well. Now, what we have here is an assortment of daisy spacers. We have some size eight seed beads and some size six seed beads. So I'm going to bring you in for a closer so it's look. TGBE20? Yep. All right, I'm going to put that on the banner at the bottom. Awesome. We might even have a banner already it is. loaded. So, yeah, everybody, 20% off today at bplace.net if you use the coupon code TGBE20 at checkout. Yeah. Everything's 20% off. So definitely some, some awesome deals to be had. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create this really cool. It does look of, like a watermelon kind of. Yeah, we're going to create this really cool kind of zigzag pattern. And we're doing cascading head pins. And I'll show you how to get that kind of zigzag effect. But in order to get started, we kind of have to make like a little bonus link here. That way, when our necklace comes together, when you wear it, both of those ends are going to be facing the same direction. Do we ship to France? Yeah. Yes, we do, uh, Monique. So in order to make that first bonus link and in order to kind of practice on our one step looper, we're going to grab one of our head pins. I'm going to scooch these guys back so there's greater <clears throat> contrast so it's easier for you to see. You're welcome. So we have one of our head pins. What we're going to do is we're going to string three beads onto our little head pin and we're going to grab our one step looper. So let's look at the one step looper close up. I'm going to give it a minute to focus. Now, in our one step looper, there's a little pin. And then on the other side of this little C shape, Correct. there's a, like a hole here. They're $37.50. So $37.50 uh, American. But you get that 20% off. Yeah, 20% so, off. So if you get the kit and that, it's a good deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide the head pin oh let me focus focus here <laughs> yeah, yeah we're streaming to a couple different places so some of the comments you're not going to see some of them are from facebook and other spots so sorry to keep interrupting it's okay no worries so what we're going to do is we're going to just slide the head pin into the hole the kits right? are 39.95 and you can use that discount coupon code so we're just going to slide the head pin right here underneath the pin and the hole is on the other side. That head pin comes out the hole on the other side. But what we're going to do with this one, since it's just kind of a, our practice link to start with, is we're not going to push this all the way through. We're just going to make sure that that little 
end of the head pin is barely coming out of the hole. And then watch this cool magic. Oh, I'll make sure yeah. I'm in frame here. That's the magic. You don't get to see it. <laughs> when I squeeze the tool. Dang, that's check crazy. Check that out. Yeah. Patent pending. So, Whoever. I just that. put my elbow on my beads and I flung beads everywhere. Um, what size are the carnelian beads? They're eights. Eights. Tom, Sue, Borge, Borges. Now what we're going to do is sometimes, depending on how we held our head pin, there might be a little opening here. This one, you know, if I didn't have a bunch of you watching me, I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't fix it. But just so that we're all doing what we're supposed to be doing, I'm going to take my round nose pliers in and just tighten it a little bit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the other side of this. Yeah, that tool is like magic. It's awesome. It's a great accessibility <clears throat> aid if you don't have the dexterity or the ability to do this kind of wrapping technique over and over again. It allows for so much more to get done without the extra exertion. Debbie asks, how long are the head pins? I believe they're two inch. So what we're gonna, and we'll talk a little bit more about the head pins a little bit later on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other side of our link now, and we're gonna do the same thing. But this time, we're gonna butt these little seed beads up to this little tooth right here. We don't wanna hold it super tight because we don't wanna crack the seed beads but we want it to kind of have a little bit of movement and flexibility, but we don't want it to look like it's empty. So I'm just going to kind of close the tool. There we go. All right. That's crazy. Now I'm gonna pull this off and give you a closer look at what we've got here. Oh, See yeah. what made that little link and those circles, those loops on either side are exactly the same. Very cool. Yay, everybody likes and thumbs up in chat for the one step looper, because it's an awesome, awesome tool. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to build up on our necklace. So we created this little link right here. Now we're gonna create this right here. So how this works is, we're going to string a carnelian on our head pin. Then we're going to string our link on, then right. our seed beads, and then create another one-step loop. Becca said plopper is awesome. Yeah, the plooper is the best. Oh, plooper. <laughs> That's an item code, so it's affectionately called the plooper. <laughs> so I am going to pick a beautiful carnelian bead here, and I'm going to string my link just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to string my size six seed bead right on top of that link. <clears throat> and this first one I'm gonna do kind of slow so that those of you that are working at home with me can work along. And then once you get it, you've got it. And if you buy your kit after the fact, you can and come back to this video and then you can pause it, fast forward, and follow along. Definitely. So now we've put on our little daisy spacer. So if you think about the metal components in this design, they're almost capping the size six seed beads. So we've got our little eight millimeter carnelian, we've got our little dangle, we've got our six, and the six is the larger of the seed beads in your kit. And then we've got our daisy spacer, and now we're going to string three of the eights. So I know it sounds silly that eights are not bigger than sixes, but that's just how they're sized. It's the opt. All right. So take a minute to screenshot this if you'd like. And then we'll move on. Okay. So we've got our one step looper. We are going to, well, I am going to switch hands so that you can see mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of me. Um, we're going to go under the pin with the head pin and out the other side. Now, remember, tension is key with this. So make sure that you are holding your beads here 
and I've got a finger here on the end of the head pin so the beads aren't slipping around <coughs> so, that, so that head pin won't fall out. But I also don't have it so tight that when I close this tool, it's going to pop my beads. So you can see I've got this little tooth stopping my uh, beads from popping into the mechanism of the tool. But I don't have it so, so tight that they're wanting to. Now, another tip that I can share with you to avoid cracking beads is you can maybe see that I'm pushing down on these beads. So my head pin is almost slightly at an upward angle coming out of this hole. And that's going to kind of hold the tension of your beads within this tool. So I'm going to make sure my head pin is where it's supposed to be. Melanie asks, and I'm gonna how many it. of the three eight O links are needed? Um, I don't know if I said that right, but so there's three of the size eight seed beads, and then I believe we're doing 23 of the eight millimeter beaded links. So this is what we've got. Now, if you would like, if you need to, you can go in with your round nose pliers and tighten this. I didn't really need to, but I just want to mention to you, if if your angles were a little off, this might be a little bit more open. So you can go in and close it. So this is what we have. Isn't that cute? Darling. All right. On to the next. So I'm going to grab a head pin. Now that we've got one under our belts, I'm going to use this time to talk to you about your head pins. We want to make sure that we are using very hard hard head pins. So these are brass, even the black ones that are in your kit. They're brass. And brass is a super stiff, hard metal. And that's important because you don't want to use something really soft like sterling silver unless it's really, really thick or really, really hard for a project like this. This particular project is a little bit heavier than some other necklaces. It's not quite a dainty project. So when we're using open loops, we need to make sure we're using a thick head pin, something that's, you know, 20, 21 gauge or thicker, um, and then make sure it's a hard metal. And then that way those loops will hold their shape and they won't pull open if you get them caught on something. Now, let's say you're making this design. Oh, our phone's chirping, low battery, sorry. <laughs> Um, Good morning, Shakita. Let's say you're making this design and you just for sure know you want to do it in precious metals and you want to use sterling. Go for it, but use wrapped loops. Get what I'm saying? Helen says, OMG, show that again. I don't know what you got referring it. to. We're going to show it 20 um, more times. I always. <laughs> I always end up with a space between my bead and my loop when I use the one step looper. Yeah, so Good. one trick. I'll show you how to how to stop that from happening. Okay, so we're gonna string our next carnelian bead on, and then we're gonna string now the loop that we just did right there. We're gonna string a size six seed bead, and we're gonna string our cute little daisy spacer. And now we're gonna do three of our size eight seed beads. And before I loop it, I just want to show you the effect that we're getting so far. You see how that Z is starting to form? Good morning, Janelda. So that's why we're calling this necklace the, the catching Z's necklace. It's, it's not supposed to bore you. Hopefully nobody's asleep. Let us know in chat if you're awake. But you see that Z starting to form? Isn't that awesome? Coral, now is a great time to do it because you get a uh... 20% off if you use the coupon code TGBE20 at checkout. And that goes for everybody today. So, All right. For those of you that are just joining us, I am using the one-step looper. And I'm putting the tail end of my head pin through this little exit hole here on the end. Now, in order to stop those <laughs> gaps when you use your one-step looper, you want to make sure that you've got your finger on the end of your head pin. If you don't, what happens is it's going to want to kind of push your head pin out when you operate the tool. So make sure you're bracing it. 
Now it is kind of like a fine balance between too tight and too loose. You need it to be not so tight that it cracks your beads. So it's just kind of finding that fine balance. And remember that tip that I showed you earlier, how I'm kind of pulling down on these beads a little bit, that's gonna kind of anchor that tension in place. Now, the first time you use your one-step looper, maybe grab some wire and practice with it or grab some of your maybe lesser expensive beads and head pins um, and then kind of get a feel for it. But after your first one or two, I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Now, that's not to say that after you've practiced and after you've got it down, they're gonna be perfect every single time. Because, you know, I've been using a one-step looper for years and years and years, and every now and then I crack a bead or every now and then I have to go in and tighten this. But even without tightening, oh, sorry, I'm trying to show you. <laughs> even without tightening, we've got a uniform loop. Sally and then Shade if you want to tighten what it, size you can. Is, what size looper are you using? This is the 1.5, which is the standard looper. There are other sizes available now, but this is the OG. All right. Let's go. We're going to grab another eight mil. We're going to string through that loop that we just did. So you're always stringing through the last loop. And it might look wrong at first, like if you're if you're laying it down, but when you pick it up, everything's going to fall uh, into place. Oh, sure. Maybe a little bit lower because oh, because the crop. OK, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to string our size six, which is the bigger seed bead, our daisy spacer, and then three of those size eights. Margaret like says, wondering what this design might work using a small section with curls in various sizes. Yes, that would be super cute. And then another thing that I want to tell you guys is that this works without these seed beads as well. So a common design probably about 15 or 20 years ago in beading, if you've, if you've been around for a long time like I have, um, we used to see this a lot just with one pearl or one crystal and then no seed beads on top. And we'd have this beautiful kind of cascading earring design. So I thought, you know, we haven't seen <laughs> this zigzag design Thanks, in a while. Man. Let's bring it back, but give it new life and turn it into a necklace. Vern said, very hi, cute hi to my favorite people on the internet. Oh, so <laughs> sweet. I hope you're talking about us. <laughs> yeah, right. He's talking about chat. Somebody in the chat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so. It's going to be me. <laughs> now what we're going to do is the same thing that we've been doing this whole time. We're going to use the one-step looper. Nancy says, I like the design. Thank you. All right, we're all set up. <laughs> we're using that little tooth to stop our beads. We're still bracing it at the back and we're angling it down just a little bit. So Mel that when Melanie we go to said, close it. Melanie said, nope, it's about me. <laughs> Yay. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you have this little piece that falls out at the end and you can save these for rosary chains. Save these little bits and then put a bead right in the middle and do a loop on either side. And link them all together and you've got beat a chain. Carrie says, love the design and the name. I thought it was super sweet. Alrighty. So this is what we've got so far. Michelle says, next time I'm in the area, I need to stop in and say hello. We'd love that. Yeah. We're here. We are. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's keep going. And then um while we're while we're doing this. Um, Alex is going to tell you guys a little <clears throat> bit about what we do every Wednesday. Please. We do. <laughs> we do do a live show every <laughs> single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Except when we're sick. Yeah, in this last couple weeks. The, <laughs> I was sick and then he was and then, sick. <laughs> yeah, she gave me the sickness and it was not great. Um, but yeah, every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. So set your clocks to Central time. That's just uh, the easiest time we, zone. We do a live stream <laughs> where we we show off all sorts of stuff. Just basically any new product we get in. A little bit of everything. Um, check class. Uh, what are those? 
Gemstones. Gemstones, obviously. 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 But uh, yeah, we have a great time. We, we have a pretty good turnout, too. We've been doing it basically since since forever 2020 here's the one that uh, i need to correct yeah we've been we've been doing it for a long time and we're pretty fairly consistent with it i'm gonna correct this but yeah join us every wednesday we stream it live on our facebook page which is the bead place if you search on facebook or if you're more of a youtube user uh the youtube channel abby berta and also uh there are hundreds if not thousands of free tutorial videos just like this and abby is uh an amazing teacher oh, hey, as thanks. you can all tell at this point oh you're so sweet thank you so definitely go check that out as well but yeah every wednesday 7 p.m the bead place dot net live nope. party bead place it's the, place dot i'm just net. saying the <laughs> bead. anyways bead place dot net Live party every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. Be Am there. I good here? Is this centered? Just Alex? read it. Is this centered? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> Only live about 35 miles from you and didn't know it? What? I mean, now come you got see us. now you gotta you gotta come out, yeah. These, so, are, these are good Christmas colors, yeah. Yeah, they certainly could be. Some of them are a little bit more summery, I think. Hello from Detroit. Hello. All right. I'm just gonna love your zigzag. Here. Such a great idea. Thanks. Abby is an amazing as Abby is amazing and shares great tips, says Barbara Gentry. Thank you. Hey, how'd you guys like that AMA last night? I thought that was super fun. Speaking of sharing tips, I thought that was great. But tell me what you think. But keep, keep it to yourself if you hated it. Only positivity in chat today. <laughs> <laughs> only say good things. We only want your opinion if it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to be showing you guys this for a long time. <laughs> I'm trying to do it slowly. Loved Normally it. I can crank them out a little faster. Cargo pants and bead daddy. I missed something. You really did. The I did was too because I came on late. So I it missed the first part of the great, conversation. So good. How did your sample come out? Good. I ripped the whole thing out oh and gosh. started over and I love it. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm doing color work with um, cotton and hemp, which is not necessarily the particular type of fiber that you want to knit with when you're doing color work experimentation because it doesn't have the stretch that you normally would want for that kind of color work. But I kind of like, I kind of am okay with that for this particular design because I am trying to get my little color swatches to almost look like lotus flowers. And do you have head pins on your site? I think so. <laughs> I'll I check. hope so. I'll check. Thanks. If not, they'll be on there soon. How did I just accidentally loop that on? That was wild. I don't know wild. if you guys saw that, but. Do I just type in head pin? Yeah. Is that two words? You can try one word or two words. I goofed. I switch it up. I goofed. <coughs> I love these great beat extravaganza weekends. Yesterday, I worked all day here at the shop, so I wasn't able to watch all the presentations. I usually try to sneak them in but we were a little bit too busy yesterday so head pin does not appear to be on site okay we'll get them up soon you could buy a bunch of kits and get them that way <laughs> yeah you could using your 20 percent off i'm the, sure uh, a lot of e20 yeah i'm sure a lot of the other presenters have head pins too that you can use and i'm periodically sure dropping the kit link in the chat so make sure if you're interested in this and you want to get it, go ahead and get it because you do get 20% off today by using that coupon code at checkout. Yeah. And I know I sound like a broken record, but that's kind of my job. <laughs> uh, just why he's subscribe here. to your YouTube channel. <gasps> Thank uh, you. Really liked it, hanging out and chatting. My dears, you've been great. Need to watch the rest tomorrow. Cool. Gotta make lunch. 
Sounds good. Yeah, food is important. I love those extra long breaks that we've been putting in the last couple events because it allows us to not feel rushed between presentations. Does the looper work for different sizes of wire? Yeah, it does. Oh, Coral, the coupon code's dancing at the bottom. It's, it's on the ticker. It's TGBE20. And that counts for everything on the website, I believe. It does. Everything except subscriptions and classes. There you go. All so, regular products, so including yeah, wholesale. We have wholesale on oh, our website, me, too. Let me uh, do this real quick. I'm going to take a coffee break for just a second. All right. So face cam right down there. There should be. StreamYard's doing its job. Oh, saw me guzzling a coupon coffee. code right here on the ticker, TGBE20, and that'll be there the whole stream. So, yeah. yeah. Check that out. Okay. So, back to it. Now, one thing that I did want to mention to you guys is that you might think, wait a minute, do I have to put it through this way? Do I have to put it through that way? Well, guess what? It doesn't matter because look at this. I'm, I'm through here and just switches to whatever side it needs to. It does the work for you. So I could put it through that way and it's right, or I could put it through this way and it's still right because it'll just swivel so that it hangs right. I love it when it does the work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Carl said, duh, that's, this, what, this is what you get when one gets old. You can't wear contacts because you got to have <laughs> contact surgery oh man i mean i would i can't see anything without my glasses so you know i hear you <laughs> that's that's why i love tools like the one step looper though because like you can keep creating even if you're not sure if everything's the exact same size because it does it for you so how long has everybody in chat been making jewelry i'm always curious to see if we've got people who have been doing it forever or people who are brand new. Let's see. How long have I known you? <laughs> <laughs> what, like eight or nine years? Eight years, right? Something. Something like that. <laughs> An approachable project with a with such fun results. Yep. Absolutely, Nancy. It's so fun. 15 years, says Taylor M. Awesome. Susan says 20 yeah. One year says uh, Angel. Cool. More than 15 says Rosalinda. 20, 25. Sweet. 25, that's got to be the winner currently, right? Yeah, that's about as long as I've been making jewelry. 56 years. Wow. Trudy Boatwright. So cool. So to those of you that are just joining in, years, says we Lisa. are making Lisa. the Catching Z's necklace kit. So this is the beaded portion at the bottom of the necklace. It creates kind of like a cool zigzag, almost chevron-like look. And what we're doing is we're using these cool, sturdy brass head pins. We're picking up one of our carnelian beads from the kit. And this kit does come in five different colorways, so five different gemstones. We're stringing a bead on our head pin. We're going through the loop 58 on, and on. from our previous link that we did. We're getting a size six seed bead. We're getting a daisy spacer. And we're getting three of our little size eight seed beads. And now we are using our one step looper. And this is a tool that does yeah. all of the work for you. I will link it. Right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this head pin through the tool out this little hole at the back here. I know it's hard to see because it's black. The hole is black and the tool is black. But hopefully you guys can see it. So we're going underneath the pin, out the other side. And then we're going to hold the bead at the back, making sure the head pin's not falling out. This little tooth here is stopping our beads from going into the tool. And then it cuts your head pin and forms your loop for you. And I just dropped the uh, link to the One Step Looper uh, on our website in chat. And again, guys, remember, 
Use that coupon code. Take advantage of that today. TGBE20 at checkout at bplace.net to save 20%. So just because I think you guys are so smart and you probably have the hang of it by now because you've seen me do it probably about Movie magic time. 10 or 20 times. What we're going to do now is move on to the chain section. So how we're going to do this is let's say this is a little bit longer and we're done. We've created all of our head pins. You will have some extra um, seed beads and maybe head pins because uh, we gave you extra in case anything wow. pops or, or something goes wrong. Um, but so, what we're going to do now is kind of lay it out so you can see. So now this said my father made my first limb for me and I still have it fit from 50 years ago. That is so cool. That is awesome. So the way that this necklace gets assembled is we have two of these kind of larger pieces of chain and those are going to connect Thank to you, our Christine. links with jump rings. Christine said, just made my first purchase and used a coupon code. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. And then we have <clears throat> those two other jump rings that go at the back. And then one side, we have an um, extender chain so you can adjust the length. And the other side, we have a lobster clasp. Coral Delancey asked, do you have the smaller beads that you can have in a kit available to? Do you have the smaller beads that you have in the kit available too? Yes, we have the majority of our CB colors available on the website. We don't have color listings, but if you message our page um, after the stream, uh, yeah. we will get back with you with the exact color names and numbers that we use. Tr Trudy said, uh, Abby has provided the, provided the best explanation of the easy looper operation I've heard. You know, I hated it when it first came out because I didn't want to take the time to fiddle with it. And I was <coughs> anti open loops. I was always taught wrap your loops or it's going to come apart. But that's not necessarily true. You just have to make sure you're using the right materials for the right application. So I'm really glad I gave it another try. Um, I came came at it from a different mindset of um, inclusion and accessibility um, and I'm so glad that tools like this exist in our industry now uh, so we've got a jump ring here this is a, our five millimeter ID 16 gauge jump ring it's a round jump ring and I'm hoping you guys can see that the break of the jump ring is at 12 o'clock if we're looking at it like a clock Pat asked can you use a tool for the short pieces yeah you totally can it's a little fiddly um, <laughs> So I prefer to just use my round nose pliers, but you totally can. So how we're gonna open this jump ring is we are going to open it in this direction. So you can see one of my pliers is in sideways, one of them straight up and down, and we're opening and closing it like this. I'm having a hard time showing you because the screen is so zoomed in. We're not gonna crack it open like this. We're gonna twist it open like that. I did the thing. If you need a constant reminder, you can grab a, a, a jump ring tote bag or sweatshirt from our YouTube channel merch store. Are <laughs> Shameless the size plug. eight carnelian beads listed on your website? Uh, probably not, but they could be. <laughs> we okay. could do that. Go and explore. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close that jump ring now. The same way we did before by opening it just backwards. So we're closing it, taking a look at the top to make sure it's closed all the way. Wendy says, we are glad that you took the time to figure it out and that you are so willing to share your knowledge with us. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. So this is about four and a half inches of that fancier chain. We're going to open our jump ring on the other side again. We've got about 20, we're good on time. Okay. Why do you twist the jump rings to open? I know why, but others Oh, might not. thank you, Sally. So the important thing when you're opening and closing a jump ring in this way, um, the, the reason why we do this is because we wanna make sure that we're opening it with just one little manipulation point at the bottom so that when we go to close it, it thank closes you, in its original position. Um, and you're less likely to have a gap because you're less them. likely to have pulled it open that far or too far. 
Thanks, Sally. Wendy said, I did explore. Unfortunately, I couldn't find them. Yeah, I don't think that we have the Carnelian online, but send us a message and, and we'll, um, we can either send you an invoice for the strands or we can uh, add it to the website real quick. Uh, it's not something we'll be able to do uh, today because the store's closed today, but send us a message and we'll make sure to bookmark it and get back to you. Jocelyn said, are you using the grommet in your cargo pant? Oh, <laughs> I thought, that... <laughs> what a jokester. <laughs> All right, so we just added that cute little lobster clasp onto this side. And we would do the same thing to the other side if I was done already, except instead of adding the lobster clasp here, we would be adding the extender chain here. So. Um, Debbie asked, do you always put the pliers at the top, the sideways pliers, when opening the jump rings? I do. Not Well, not at the top. Hold on. Do you always put the pliers at the top? This is pliers. No. So I do three o'clock. Let me let me show you. So the one that's going straight up and down. I will. I'm just getting set up. So the one that's going straight up and down is almost over the entire whole side of one half of it. And the other one's at three o'clock. And that way I just rotate my wrist like this to open and close it. Like you're revving a motorcycle or something. I don't know. I don't ride motorcycles. So. Somebody tell me if that's accurate. Yeah. Well, that you just do you gotta, that. You got to bring it back towards you. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing with my Is wrist. the store closed when you go live? Uh, on Wednesdays, yes. And today, yes. Like that. Actually, yeah, pretty much every time we go live. Now Almost. Just depends on just depends on the background that you see. If we're hiding in the back room or something, it's yeah. usually. The, the cargo pants open. are for knitting. So, yeah, probably later today. <laughs> so well demonstrated just placed my order and used my discount thank you so much You're so thank, you. thank you um Zelda. so speaking of going live since we kind of already covered all the basics so i want to show you what we have coming up yeah there's a we're gonna have a pen, we're gonna have a pendant party this wednesday we're gonna be going over our monthly fun pack we're gonna be doing our uh, mini kit construction um let me show you what the monthly fun pack was yeah, remember everybody for those that are just uh, getting in or didn't hear hear us earlier. Every Wednesday we go live yes, on our Facebook can. page, uh, the B Place on Facebook, and oh, on Abby so Berta cute. on YouTube. So this was our monthly fun pack this month. Um, the theme was back to school, um, and so Alex is going to link monthly fun packs in chat. Um, it's too late for this one, sorry. But <laughs> next month, I think the, the theme is Cozy Vibes. Um, so you can sign up for a subscription or if you just want to try it out, um, you can do a one-time purchase of it. Um, but in this was a little cute little uh, earring mini kit. And we're going to go over that in this Wednesday's uh, live stream at the very beginning. We're going to go over design ideas for what was on the inside of it. Um, and then also we what's, are going to do our pendant party. Elaine asked, what's the mini kit? Uh, the mini kit was, um, it's a cute little pair of earrings. I don't want to spoil the surprise if, if people haven't opened it yet. Um, but we posted a little sneak peek on our Instagram. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to mention is that you still do have a chance to get one of our um, monthly fun packs this particular one, because we are giving one away to everybody who's watching live right now. If you comment well, not, month... We're not giving away to everyone. No, no, no. Giving no, no. you the opportunity giving you, to Thank you. Fun. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> thank you for clarifying. <laughs> we're giving away one monthly fun pack. We're going to announce the winner on Wednesday. But if you're watching live, you can enter to win. Um, and if all you have to do in chat right now is type in hashtag... MFP for monthly fun pack. So that is not what I. Never mind. Okay, go back to hand cam. Let's make <laughs> let's make necklaces. <laughs> oh geez. <laughs> All uh, right. Hashtag MFPs. <laughs> I feel like today. Like the, <laughs> the vibe is kind of like relax, like catch and Z, snooze. Normally we are a lot more of like hyper and dare I say manic in these, like rushing to get done. 
But what I love about this one is that it is a relaxing project because it's just the same thing over and over again. But well, the, of course, I'm sometimes a little unbearable, but <laughs> I've toned it down. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, we're still keeping you guys awake here. Yeah, if you would join us for our live show on Wednesdays, it's a horse of a different color, let we, me tell you, because we are... We're unhinged. Yes, it is much later in the day, and we are just... Yeah, yeah, we are. So... Um, Any of our regulars in chat could definitely attest to that, that we are What am I doing here? There we go. Goofy. We are goofy. That's a good way to, word to put it, rather than unhinged. We are awake, says Helene. <laughs> Do you have to present, hold on, do you have to be present to win on Wednesday? That's a good question. No, you just have to be present now. We're announcing the winner. And we'll post it, our winner, we'll post the winner on our social media. We so should on, do that, but we don't. What, on Instagram? <laughs> no, I was going to say we should, we should have it so that you have to be present to win, but we don't because we know that everybody is in different time zones. On Wednesday? And, yeah. On the live stream? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to be present for that. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Executive decision. We're just announcing the winner. Yeah, Coral <laughs> says you are a great uh, comedic team. Yeah. We That's one try. way of putting it. <laughs> uh, Wednesdays so. are fun. Caffeinated Alex and Abby are particularly amusing. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. We're caffeinated today. Well, I am, Brandy but Champ it hasn't says, quite hit your yet. Wednesdays are li your Wednesday lives are what? fun. Thanks. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Yeah. We got a new cat. Yeah, his name's Frankie. He's cute. He's real little. He is I love cute. him. <laughs> he's he's a doll. No, he's, he's a cat. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have a cat doll. We have an actual living cat. That's true. Um if you guys are watching like from our sources, Where will like we if you're post watching the us winner. Um, it's going to be announced live during our uh, live stream on Wednesday. So you can either watch there or you can watch the replay after the fact. And so if we have the ability to contact you, like if we've talked either through our website system or through um, our social media before, we'll reach out to you. But otherwise, just check and see if you want. So just so everybody knows, we stream every, well, most every Wednesday on our uh, Facebook page, The Bead Place. If you search on Facebook, The Bead Place, you can probably tab over over if you're watching on Facebook now. Type in The Bead Place. Make sure to follow us. And then Please. this Wednesday is when we'll announce. Also, we stream on Abby Berta on YouTube, the That's YouTube me. channel, Abby Berta. Uh, again, go subscribe because there's literally hundreds of free tutorials over there. And that's where we stream our live uh, parties every single Wednesday. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch back now. So, um, if you're watching like on my YouTube channel and you're like, what are, what are we doing today? This is a fun tutorial. Well, there's a bajillion more fun tutorials going on this weekend and you, you can watch the replays of yesterday. This is the great beat extravaganza, which is a quarterly beat show. Uh, Angel, it's a, it's a the, virtual beat show. The hashtag MFP is for the giveaway for the monthly fun pack, which is MFP monthly fun pack is what that stands for. And uh, so if you're watching now live, which you seem to be, uh, put that in the comments and then we will announce the winner on our live show party on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central is when we start. We'll probably announce it closer like to midway the midway or near the closer end. Closer to the end. Oh, yeah. That's but, true. Uh, um, we'll probably forget. Uh, no, Alex just needs kidding. to we use will. the one step loof looper. I almost said loofer. <laughs> you want to give it a shot? No, not right now. We ha Maybe on Wednesday. There's 9,000 people watching right now. <laughs> I'm cool embarrassing myself to like 50 people, but come on now. Does it, funny. does it matter if the pliers are in opposite positions when opening the jump rings? It's up to you. Do what's comfortable for you. That That is just how I like to do it because so it makes sense for my brain. I feel like, you know, you're bracing with one, and then the other one's the one that you're twisting oh, back and forth. Stage but, fright. Yeah, not really stage um, fright. I just, he just, I don't, I, he knows his limits. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 
Hey, um, you know what they say, so, know what you're good at, but more importantly, know what you're not good at. What I was trying to say before I got distracted was that this is the Great Beat Extravaganza. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe to the Great Beat Extravaganza on um, YouTube if you haven't done that already, because a lot of us stream over there as well. Um, and true. then you can, of course, subscribe to me while you're there. Um, but anyway, make sure you're a member of the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group, because that's where the most fun happens. Um, all the info for all the shows and stuff. And then also make sure you've liked the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page. <laughs> so that's a total, oh, totally separate thing from the group. They're roasting um, me right now. The, <laughs> the page. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the page is where all the super important show stuff goes. And then the group is where all the fun party stuff happens between these events. So quarterly events. And then at the end of the day, Christy's going to announce um, the fall fest date to you guys. You might have already gotten a flyer in your order if you've ordered from one of us. Um, so some of you kind of know the announcement dates already, but Chrissy's going to announce them at the end of this presentation. No. And then, uh, or at the end of the day, I should say. Um, and then directly after us today is Heather from Humble Beads. And I'm just so excited to have the opportunity to go back and watch um, everybody from, from yesterday. And I'm stoked to see how to redo some of the wooden beads that I have from long ago with Jennifer Perkins. Isn't that awesome that we have like a real live TV star? in our beat extravaganza this time around well, you have how many of you have seen her on tv or we, remember her from like the the on, naughty secretary hold on here's an interesting question celebrity will you have a conversion chart for this design smaller beads for a bracelet to purchase the materials um so that's a really good question we're not going to have a conversion chart mm -hmm. because it really just depends on the materials that you're using I don't advise this design um, for a bracelet with smaller materials necessarily, unless you're keeping with your really thick head pins, um, because you need to make sure, it, I mean, because this is such kind of a, I don't want to say lanky, because that's like an unflattering word, um, but because, because we've got open loops here and because we've got kind of jagged ends, it's better suited for earrings or a necklace. Now, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. You can do a bracelet if you want, but it we, I, I'm just going to answer that one with a no. We're not going to do a conversion chart for you, but we would encourage you to experiment with it um, because it, it might take some fiddling with to get a secure design that you're happy with. Um, Helen asks, how much can I spend for free freight? Uh, if you use, I think, code free shipping 200, uh, it's uh, $200 and then you get free shipping. Otherwise, you can stack your Bead Club rewards points on our website and you can apply that towards your purchase for shipping savings as well. Zanelda asks, Alex, where's your page? We'd love to follow you. Uh, I stream on Twitch. I don't know if I play like video games and Magic the Gathering. Um, I don't know if that's really anything anyone would be interested in here, but yeah, follow me on twitch.tv slash less Alex. <laughs> You've been waiting years for somebody right. To somebody ask finally you. asked. <laughs> My moment is now. That's so funny. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm super stoked about Jennifer Perkins being a part of this event too. Oh, I guess I have a YouTube channel too. Yeah, you do. YouTube.com slash less Alex. Less Alex is where I'm at. I mean, all of our guest presenters have been super, super fabulous, but I feel like. Jennifer's designs are very like what I'm into, like my oh, no. aesthetic. My greatest dream came into became my worst nightmare. <laughs> are you talking about my Instagram or Abby's? Abby has what is it? Abby Berta? Yeah, Abby Berta. Abby me. Berta, and then of course the, the Bee Plays. We recently won a Reader's Choice Awards. I can't. I, I should. I don't know if I should do full details, but we won a bunch of stuff. Check out our page if you're. Yeah, check out the Instagram. In finding out our our cool news, and then we have some like a really fun nationwide event coming up in October too. It's like uh, the Christmas story. It's a great. What do you say? It's a great award. I don't know what you're talking. When he gets about. the leg, the leg lamp. Oh. 
It's like it's a it's a distinguished prize. I feel like this isn't even the first time we've been talking about that leg lamp during this event. Hey, that leg lamp is iconic. Check this out, guys. Look how fun and well. fast this comes together. And I've been so distracted and all over the place throughout this whole thing. So you know that if I can get this necklace done while I'm just rambling and not even paying attention. It's a major award. Everybody's <laughs> correcting me. It's a major award. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's the best. That's my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> Uh, I have a t-shirt that actually has <laughs> that on it and depicts that scene. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I got to the end and look, I have all these seed beads and stuff left. You got all this time extra left. headpins in case I screwed up. Thankfully, I didn't. I didn't screw up once that I remember or that I noticed anyway. Are these uh, fragile? No. It's French. Congratulations. Yay! Check that out. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna finish this real quick. That movie. I That's know we nice. have just like a, a few minutes of time left. This has been so chill and so fun. Brandy Champ says she loves that movie. I love that movie too. That's one of my favorite movies. Not only a, just a Christmas movie, just in general. Let us know in chat what your favorite movie is. Yeah, what's your favorite movie? All right. I'm going to go in and close this jump ring. And guys, we're using chunky jump rings for this, too. Never Super heard of that. secure. Cool Check project. that out. Yay! Such a fun design. Thank you. And if you have <clears throat> some extra funds to spare this weekend, all of us presenters do this like on a volunteer basis. Like We are all small businesses. And Animal we House, love nice. coming together to put these events together for you. And I'm dropping the link in chat um, again to the, uh, sorry to interrupt, but okay. to the kit. Again, remember TGBE20 oh. at checkout at beadplace.net. You'll save 20% off of everything you purchase unless it's uh, a kit or no, unless it's a subscription or a class. Subscription or a class. So 20% off this. Is it this weekend, just today, or? It goes through the middle of next week. Well, there you go. You have till the middle of next week. It gave us some buffer time to Dirty go in dance. and fix things Heck. if we weren't prepared. Check this out, guys. Look how awesome that's that is. That's a good-looking so, necklace. That's a good-looking necklace. That's a good-looking necklace. This is so fun. Dude, I love this. Like, but anyway, what I was trying to say much. before Alex rudely interrupted me. I know. Me, I'm the worst. Was that you're just unbearable. <laughs> Some people notice it, some people don't. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that we, <clears throat> you know, we're small businesses. We, we of course, can't do these events without you without you guys um, and your you support make? and interaction. Um, but also, you know, we, I mean, it's, it's common knowledge. I don't need to tell you this, but we wouldn't be in business without you guys. So we certainly appreciate your support. And this weekend is... Um, always a major event for all of us so we, we really award. appreciate your uh kindness patience and support but also your all financial right, so support so cool thank you everybody um Woo! how many links With a did you make to spare 23 and then debbie asked where 23? do i find the great beat extravaganza facebook group that you mentioned um you just type in the great beat extravaganza so oh it's linked in the description of this video there you go um but if if for whatever reason you can't find the description, just type in the Great Beat Extravaganza on Facebook um, and it'll pop up. The page and the group will pop up. But here's a tip. Your Facebook might look different than my Facebook. So make sure to toggle over to the page option in the search bar if you're looking for the page. Toggle over to group if you're looking for the group. Sometimes <laughs> Facebook just shows you what it wants to show you. So we, uh, another, another note that we appreciate your patience. If you can't find something, yeah. <laughs> try a few different ways first because it might be there. It might just not be popping up. So and thanks everybody again. That's it. The we kit, did it. I just linked the kit again. Uh, check that out if you're interested. Again, TGBE20. That's the coupon code you use at checkout at uh, beadplace.net. The one net. step looper will work with stainless steel as long as it is a small gauge and just know that it will dull your blade quicker than other metals. So thank you, everybody. Make sure that you sign up for the major TGBE giveaways. You're going to see a link in the group.
to sign up for that, make sure you're using the official giveaway link. Nobody's going to ask you for your credit card information to sign up for the giveaway or anything. Um, occasionally there's spammers and whatnot, but only use the official link to sign up for the TGBE mid Summer Market giveaway. If it tells you you've already entered and this is your first time entering this time around, that's okay. You're already in there from last time. No worries. You're in there if, for sure. If you made a bracelet with a Z pattern, will it lay flat on your wrist? Yeah, it will. Just make sure it's tight, like a tight fitting Good one. Question. Otherwise it might dance around. Do you have check glass beads? Oh, do we have check glass beads? That's a yes. <laughs> we do. Check us hey, out on thanks, Wednesdays. Deborah, We're going... you know, I woke up like this, to be honest. <laughs> He did. He's like, look at this. I got a little weight. I was like, it we're, looks like Conan. We're going a little over on time. So we need to let you guys go. Make sure to, to come back for uh, Heather from Humble Beads. Go potty, get a snack, get yourself some water, come back and see Heather. And then if you just really miss us, come back and see Wednesday. us on Wednesday. So we're going to announce the winners. Hashtag MFP right now. You got now. it. You got it. All right. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of Great Beat Extravaganza. Thank you all. Bye. Adios.